Hello and welcome back to the final video, the final episode of my Final Fantasy IX blind playthrough. I am kind of emotional about it. Actually, when I was editing the video, I was like crying again, kind of, because the ending absolutely hit something in me. It was just... I'm gonna put this disclaimer now because I feel like y'all are gonna be like, Katie, I, I, I feel like you missed a really big part of this ending. So as this ending was happening, uh, you know, obviously I was doing it live on stream, absorbing all the information, crying, feeling things, and in my emotional distress, I completely missed the fact that it was Vivi who voice who's like writing the letter at the, the letter basically at the end that went straight over my head went so much over my head that i actually didn't realize vivi's true ending until the day after i finished this game one of my friends had to message me on discord and was like just so you know like i feel like you didn't maybe get it yesterday this is what canonically happens to vivi and then that obviously broke me like all over again and I was very 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 sad about that. That is the reason why you will see me just kind of like completely miss this information. I was very excited about like the 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 other VVs that show up and it just like flew over my head. It is slightly embarrassing because now this is just on the internet for you all to see that I missed a major plot point. However, <laughs> The ending of this game was really good. I felt like it really like tied everything together. I had an absolute blast playing it. It truly was like a fantastic story. I think it had like fun gameplay, really fun characters. The cutscenes were awesome. I think at the end of the day, like Dagger was maybe my favorite character. Um, I really loved Zidane as a protagonist. I thought that his story was... Ugh, it was really good. I really, really liked it. I feel like I now have trouble even ranking Final Fantasies at this point because, you know, 8 is my favorite. I would say 10 is probably my second favorite, but then like 9 and 12 for me, if you've watched my if you've watched my 12 playthrough on this channel, um, I'll link to it up here, but I really deeply also loved 12 and 9 and like I just had such great experiences with them both. I'm like, where am I gonna... There should be a better system than top three. I'm like, they're all just favorites now. Like, they're all so good. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. I feel like I've met so many new so many new friends through this playthrough on, on YouTube here um, and so many new, like, friendly faces. And you all have been an awesome community to just kind of, like, chat with through the game and, like, uh, talk about experiences and all of that. So I super appreciate if you found my channel through this Final Fantasy IX playthrough, I super appreciate it. I hope you enjoy all the videos that will come next after this. And of course, if you ever wanna come watch me play a game live, you can always come follow me on Twitch. My Twitch channel link is in the description below. It's www.twitch.tv forward slash katiecole19. Um, we play JRPGs, we play RPGs. So it's definitely an opportunity for you to come say hi in real time. We can talk about this playthrough if you want. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what was your favorite part of this playthrough. What was your favorite part when you played Final Fantasy IX? I definitely want to know. So let me know in the comments below. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. It has been really fun. Let's finish the game. Hope you all enjoy it. Bye. Are you all right? Yeah, but look at what's happening. So what Kuja said was true. The Aoife tree is beginning its violent reaction. What's gonna happen? I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Oh, there's the girl! There's the girl! Zidane's sister. I doubt anyone could have survived that explosion. No. Captain. They are still alive. What? Where are they? Over there. The Hildegard is probably closer. You, the tall one. Sir, Hagen, Pluto Knight 8, here, ma'am. I didn't ask for your name. Contact the Hildegard right away. Yes, sir, ma'am, sir. Please be alive. Sire, we're receiving a transmission from the Red Rose. Punch it up on the main line. Sid still be looking kind of fine, though. 
This is the Red Rose. You're not General Beatrix. Who are you? My name is Mikoto. Everyone is alive. You are very close to them. What? How do you know? I can hear him. Who? Prepare to land immediately. That's the Hildegard Three. Looks like Sid came to rescue us. Sid! Thank heavens you're all safe. Come quickly, we don't have much time. Oh my god, please get to this. Please get to this in time. Please get to this in time. Farewell, Zidane. Ah, damn it. What's wrong? Why don't you go on ahead? I'll catch up with you all later. I have to take care of something. What? He's still alive. He can't be. Zidane, what are you doing? Steiner, take care of Dagger. No. No. <laughs> no, I did not sign up for this. What do you mean by that? Kuja's still alive. I can't just leave him. Yes, we can. We can leave Kuja. He's very sexy. But we can leave him. This is ludicrous. Just because you two are from the same planet doesn't mean... No, that's not the reason. Come on, Zidane! Why are you doing this? Because... Because I might have done the same thing if I were in his shoes. I probably would have fought against you guys and wreaked havoc in Gaia like he did. I know it sounds crazy. But I know deep down inside I have to do this. You're not crazy, Zidane. But you go help Kuja, not good idea. It's too dangerous. I can't just leave him. There's no way I could live with myself. I'm going. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. But we all have to make big decisions in life sometimes. For me, now's that time. I have to face up to it, just like Vivi did when he confronted his fears to find out about himself. That was a big decision for Vivi. I don't know about that. I don't really think it was really a big deal. That's what you think, but I might not be doing this if it weren't for you. That's not really the thing to say, but okay, Zidane. You've definitely taught me how to take life more seriously. Well, you're obviously not going to change your mind, so I'm coming with you. The principle of knighthood requires that one assist its comrade in times of need. I shall accompany you as well. Whoa, wait a minute. Like I said, it's it's my moment, so don't butt in. You guys will have your own someday. I have to laugh. Besides, you guys have more important things to worry about, like Barmacia and Alexandria. For once in your life, why can't you be honest? Sorry, but I can't... I can't just walk away. It goes against my nature. You're a real simpleton. Forget it, guys. There's no stopping this fool. What are you still doing out here? Get on board right now! Come on. Let's just leave him and get out of here. That guy will never change. Alright, you heard the man. Get out of here before it's too late! Stain, I love you. You better come back. Stain, I need to eat more different food. I'm still hungry. You need to come back, take me more places, show me more food. I still can't believe you're doing this. You've changed, Zidane. Till we meet again. Zidane, you've taught me another big lesson in life. Thanks. Sidane. Princess, we must go. Er, are, are, are we... Dagger, I mean, your highness. The abduction is over. Oh. <laughs> 
I can't take you any further. I'm sorry for being so selfish. You're not being selfish. You've done so much for us. If it weren't for you, I probably would have led a meaningless life. With you, I was able to see so much of the world and meet so many people. We faced many hardships too, but I think I finally know what's important. I'm so fortunate to have met you. I'll never forget our trip together. Thank you, Zidane. Promise me one thing. Please come back. Oh. I'm just gonna say all this time and he still didn't say I love you and she didn't say I love you either and that makes me sad. Kuja, can you hear me? I'm coming to get you. You still have time. Forget about me and go. Just shut up and stay where you are. I don't understand you. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh god, do I- oh god, I hope I don't have to control this. This is very clearly not a CGI cutscene. Oh god. They're gonna... I didn't think they were gonna kill off their main fucking character! <gasps> oh, he... okay. I'm sorry, Kuja did look kind of funny lying there. I, I had to laugh. Phew. Still alive. I guess that was pretty crazy. Hey, are you alright? Sedane? doing here? I thought I told you to go. Wouldn't you do the same for me if you knew I was dying? Never mind. Your comrades were able to escape? Yeah. I knew you had something to do with it. I'm glad they made it. Yeah, well... It's our turn to get moving. I don't deserve to live after all that I've done. I'm useless to this world. No one's useless. You helped us escape, remember? After you guys beat me, I had nothing left. Nothing more to lose. Then, I finally realized what it means to live. I guess I was too late.
Hey, don't you go dying on me, all right? Kuja, what you did was wrong. But you gave us all one thing. Hope. Why, why did he give them hope? How did he give them hope? We were all created for the wrong reason, but you alone defied our fate. Oh. I, okay. We do not want to forget this. We want your memory to live on forever. To remind us that we were not created for the wrong reason. That our life has meaning. Sometime later. A fucking song. It's always a fucking song. So, this is Alexandria? Pick up the pace, will ya? I don't believe it! Vivi! Vivi? How do you know that name? What are you talking about? It's me, Puck! How could you forget me? Puck? You know, Puck! The, the Prince of Burmesea? Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? If you're not Vivi, then who are you? I'm... Vivi's son! Oh, look at all the Vivis! I always talked about you, Zidane. How you were a very special person to us because you taught us all how important life is. I can't read. Freya, you're leaving soon, are you not? Yes, I can hardly wait to see everyone. Alexandria. I went there many years ago. How long will it take to rebuild Burmesea? I don't care as long as I'm with you. I love you. <laughs> he remembered her. He still doesn't. <sighs> he fell in love with her anyway, even though he didn't remember who she was. Life doesn't last forever. That's why we have to help each other and live life to the fullest. Are those rat emojis? Or are those cat emojis? It's time to say goodbye to this room. Save the queen, you have served me well. Oh, she's retiring. My duty is finished here. Farewell, Alexandria. Even if you say goodbye, you'll always be in our hearts. So, I know we're not alone anymore. <laughs> hey. Why are you going to Alexandria? You're not going? Did they were kill today? <laughs> Why I was born, how I wanted to live. Thanks for giving me time to think. Good food, not only delicious. 
Good food made with heart. This is very important when cooking for friends. Oh, when cooking for friends. Keep doing what you set your heart on. It's a very hard thing to do. We were all so courageous. Hurry, hurry! We gotta get there before the play begins. <laughs> There's no need to hurry. The theater ship is no match for my new ship. My new Hildegard is the fastest ship ever. Do I have to remind you? You said the same thing about the theater ship. <clears throat> That's what you said. Father! Oh, he adopted her. Aiko, what did you just call me? Darling, she called you father. Father, mother, hurry. Oh, did they adopt her? Oh, S say it again, Aiko. Oh. What to do when I felt lonely? That was the only thing you couldn't teach me. But we need to figure out the answer for ourselves. Beatrix. Where are you going? Please don't ask. My mind is already set. Wait, listen to me. I, uh... I never wish to lose you again. Steiner. Let us protect the queen together. I'm so happy I met everyone. I wish we could have gone on more adventures. But I guess we all have to say goodbye someday. Alright, you scumbags. We're almost there. Been a long time since we saw Alexandria. Let's give them a show they won't forget. Yeehaw. I'm not yeehawing. Everyone, thank you. Farewell. My memories will be part of the sky. She grew out her hair. theater ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. I can't wait to see everyone. But it'll never be the same. I have to let go of the past. I have to move on, just like he taught me. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. Our heroine, Princess Cornelia, is torn from her lover, Marcus. She attempts to flee the castle, only to be captured by her father, King Leo. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cordelia decide to run away together. And now, your royal majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord, St Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, noble ladies and lords, and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents I Want to Be Your Canary. Marcus? Sweet Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy, married to a lowly peasant such as I? Pray thee, call me princess no more. Marcus, wilt thou truly cherish me, the king's only daughter? Or is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? A mindless puppet, never to laugh, never to cry? I wish to live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insincere than that lived as a masquerade. 
So much consideration thou hast given it, but worry not. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Never again will I part from thee. Pray, my love, make me thy canary to keep forever in the cage of thy bosom. Let us embark on the first ship tomorrow, before dawn can tell of our elopement. All my fortunes at thy foot I lay, and I shall follow thee throughout the world. No cloud, no cloud, no squall shall hinder us. Cloud and squall from seven and eight. Oh, love is the sweetest joy and the wildest woe. All I wish is to be by my sweet Marcus's side. Fie, it shall be war again unless this marriage is stopped. Never will I let their plan come to fruition. Good day to ye, Highness. Good day. What wist thee of Marcus? Marcus, what news dost thou bring? This. Where is she? Where has mine only daughter gone? Blank, good man. Hast thou seen Cornelia? Worry not, Majesty. I shall make sure Cornelia marries Prince Shiner, but be thou at ease. At ease, sayest thou? How can I rest not knowing she is safe? Could it be thou hast betrayed me? By my troth, sir, I betrayed none other than poor Marcus. Thou had the gall to betray thy dearest friend. Wouldst thou not betray me as swiftly? Stay thy hand, I merely... I'm, I'm confused. I'm going through a lot of emotions, and I... I... The traitor is dead. Oh, cruel fate. You two, quickly find Cornelia and bring her before me. How dare she disobey her father's wishes. The time for our departure is long past. Where is Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms, as Blank so said. Speak, Marcus. She told me that she could not live without me. So the sun is our enemy, too. The eastern sky grows bright. Will we not spread our wings as yonder birds in joyous flight? Hark, Marcus, they cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if, if I only believe. As the sun lends me no ear, I pray instead to the twin moons. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Oh my god, Beatrix's CGI render is so hot. Jesus. Oh my god, they really revealed that at the very end. <laughs> Get out of the way, it's the princess! How daft are you people? Clear a path! Clear a path! Do you not? It's the queen also. First, second of all, it's the... No! Oh, no! 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 But girl, what are you doing? Get your, get your idol on jewelry! Oh... Ha <laughs> ha. 
I can't read anything because I don't have my glasses on. Vivi had little Vivis! Wait, who did Vivi mate with? I'm so glad it was a happy ending. Voice from the past joining yours and mine. Okay. Go off, I guess. But for real, who did Vivi who did Vivi mate with? Does anybody know? They better, they better not fuck up the adaptation of this, that's all I'm saying. I'm glad I played this. It was really good. I'm just gonna be real with you though, like what, they couldn't have given us a dagger stained kiss? After everything we just went through, was that too much to ask? There's the crystal! There's the crystal. Oh, y'all. This was so good. Thank you all so much for, for sticking with me through this playthrough. I love, I loved it. I had a great time. The story was incredible. Thank you so, so much for coming on this, this journey with me. I, I had the best time and I'm really glad we got a happy ending because I would have been sad if we didn't. Thank you. Bye.